So for today's video, we have here a pie chart and we are going to tackle percentage means per hundred and the symbol used to express percentage is this symbol. 1% or 100 of the total or whole and is therefore calculated by dividing the total or whole number by 100. Therefore, 3% means 3 for 100 or 3. Then, in 10%, we have means 10 for 10 over 100. So, if 300 over 100 or exact 3 is 300 of any number is twice the number. So, for the next slide, we have here a data problem which is a 50 student in MMC class has enrolled its subject. So, um, the data set um, as follows by subject, tally, frequency, and percentage. So, um, this problem is an example of ungrouped data since it's not interval and it is categorical. So, we can see we get the frequency there. So, we should check the N. So, the N is the total uh, number and we got a uh, 50. And make sure you do the tally of the given now since we are talking about pie chart we should um get to know the percentage so when we are constructing a pie chart we got a percentage so the formula of it is f over n times 100 percent so percentage we should remember that percentage is always 100 percent so now let's start with the first frequency that is 20 divided by n which is 0 0.4 times 100 percent that is 40 percent to interpret out of the 50 students 40 percent of the students enrolled in biostatistics is 11 divided by 50 is equal to 0 0.22 times 100 then the answer is 22 percent and um, in the percent of 6 divided by 50 equal to 0 0.12 times 100 is equal to 12% meaning out of 50 students we have 12% enroll in art appreciation. So in last we have the 13 divided by 50 equal to 0 0.26 times 100 and then the answer is 26%. So after we all get the percentage, we should make sure it is a total of 100% by ad adding all your answers. Then, uh, we have the second example. So this time we are going to construct it into a problem given by the percentage of each category. So now let's answer the following question. Number one, what is the total number of students who has enrolled in the subjects given? You can see it in the frequency, um, n equals to 50, so the answer is 50. So number two, which subject has the highest percentage? As you can see, it is in the biostatistic um, subject who have got a uh, 40%. So next, what is the total percentage of biostatistic subjects? So, it is 40%. That's the answer. So, which subject has the lowest percentage? Where we can see it properly in the uh, lowest number. So, it's 12% in the art appreciation. So, the third one, I will going to teach you how to construct a pie chart. So, let's learn first what is pie chart. So, it is a circular statistical graphical chart which is divided into slices in order to explain or illustrate numerical proportions the total percentage should be 100 and the total of the arc measure should be in 360 degree so for example on this out of 50 students there is a portion where student enrolled in each subjects where we need to get the angle of sector so to get the angle of sector we should compute the percentage by times 100 but in the angle of sector we should times it in 360 degree since pi is a circle or a whole and it is 360 degree in one revolution so to solve frequency divided by n so 20 divided 50 that is 0 0.4 times 360 and the answer is 144 so the next one we have 0 0.22 times 360 equals to 
Then the third one we have 0 0.12 times 360 is equals to 43.2. Then the last one we have 0 0.26 times 360 degrees equals to 93.6 degrees. So uh, we have to make sure that we got a 360 degree because if it's not then there's something wrong now in making a pie chart you can see it's a circle and it is 60 degree so you can see it in the um in the side of the table so that is the what we call um pie chart so so we use this to know the angular degree or or to know how um much your percentage is or how big it your percentage so for the first step example so you can see there's um 40% uh, in bio statistic and you can uh, see that all these subjects are being measured by its own um, percentage now so it's constructed uh, used by a uh, protector or the app so remember when we doing the pie chart we should put the category and percentage so you can see there is a label there and the percentage and its um, category so this is how we represent our data using a pie chart after that we should not forget to uh, write the title of the graphs so we're done on this topic so thank you for listening i hope you learned today